Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has been almost completely ignored by both left and right-leaning cable news in the two weeks following the launch of his third-party presidential bid. Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, all of them have hardly uttered a word about the Kennedy campaign. Three networks combined mentioned him just six times in the past two weeks. Now, it's status quo for the left-leaning outlets, which more or less pretended his Democratic primary challenge to Biden didn't exist. And while RFK was the toast of the town on Fox News for a while, they're now giving him the cold shoulder at the least, since he's now running against the eventual Republican nominee heavily favored to be Donald Trump. But the partisan media on both sides ignore him at their own peril, because the latest fundraising and polling numbers suggest whether they like it or not, RFK Jr. is going to be a factor in the 2024 race. Check out this staggering fundraising haul from Kennedy. According to a Kennedy super PAC, in just the first six hours after he launched his bid on October 9th, he raked in $11 million in six hours. Campaign coffers filling up fast. Poll numbers. PBS poll shows Kennedy drawing 16% of the vote in a hypothetical three-way race with Biden and Trump. In this one, Biden leading in that poll with 44% to Trump's 37%. If you're wondering who Kennedy might hurt more, Trump or Biden, it's seemingly Trump. Check out these numbers from the same poll, which show Biden leading by only three points in a matchup against only Trump. And you add Kennedy to the mix, according to this poll, Trump fares significantly worse. Mick Mulvaney, what do you make of this, and how significant do you think RFK Jr. will be? Yeah, whether or not he's significant or not, everything I've seen sort of says that he's pulling equally from both sides. The polling data I saw, Dan, earlier this week was it was sort of a 45-45 race with Trump and Biden. And then with Kennedy, it's a 37-37 race with 16% to, to Kennedy, which is an exact 50-50 split in terms of stealing from both Biden and Trump. Um, I, I don't think he's serious. I think it's sort of a, a straw man stalking horse. He's a protest vote. People who are Republican but don't want to vote for Trump say they'll vote for Kennedy on the poll. The same thing is true of Democrats. I'm not sure they pull the ticket for that, that individual, assuming he's on the uh, ballot on Election Day. Keep in mind, it's really hard to get on the ballot. If you're not already starting the process to get on the ballot in states a year from now, you're unlikely to have your name on the ballot. Yeah. And I have no idea if Kennedy's even begun that yet. Scott Bolden, what do you make of it? Yeah, real quick, um, Mick and I have seen that same poll, and we've been on a, a News Nation talking about that poll, but uh, on, on, on your program, uh, the data we've looked at, there are about eight polls that show he pulls from the Republicans more than he pulls from the Democrats. He's an anti-vaxxer. He's a conspiracy theorist. And I think the Democratic Party is watching closely, but I don't think we're concerned about him pulling from the Biden campaign. It's more important who's going to be the Republican nominee, if it's not Donald Trump or if it is, and then how much of that does he pull if Kennedy stays in the race and can get on the ballot to be significant in some of the purple states or yeah. swing states? Can he be a factor in regard to the electoral college, not so much winning the, uh, the uh, popular vote? Nick Mulvaney we'll and Scott Bolden, thank you both so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.